Have you ever wondered about the upcoming Bitcoin halving and its potential impact on the crypto market? Welcome to the intriguing world of Bitcoin, where every four years, an event of great significance unfolds. This event, known as the Bitcoin halving, is a crucial part of the Bitcoin network's design and has profound implications for Bitcoin miners and investors alike. So what exactly is Bitcoin halving? In simple terms, Bitcoin halving is a process where the reward for mining new blocks on the Bitcoin network is cut in half. To put it another way, miners receive 50% fewer Bitcoins for every transaction they verify. If you're wondering why this drop in rewards occurs, it's because Bitcoin's creator, Satoshi Nakamoto, designed it this way. But why would anyone design a system where the rewards keep decreasing? The reason is scarcity. Just like gold, Bitcoin was designed to have a limited supply, with only 21 million Bitcoins ever to be created. This artificial scarcity is what gives Bitcoin its value. Now, imagine you're a Bitcoin miner. Every 10 minutes, you're racing against other miners to solve complex mathematical puzzles. If you're the first to solve it, you get rewarded with new Bitcoins. But every four years, the number of Bitcoins you receive for your efforts gets halved due to the Bitcoin halving. In the beginning, when Bitcoin was first launched in 2009, the reward for mining a block was 50 Bitcoins. Fast forward to today and the reward has dropped to just 6.25 Bitcoins. And with the next halving event, this reward will fall further to just over 3 Bitcoins. This halving of rewards has a ripple effect on the entire Bitcoin ecosystem. It affects the rate at which new Bitcoins are created and since the supply of Bitcoin is capped, it can potentially impact its price. Now that we know what Bitcoin halving is, let's delve into why this event occurs. Why does Bitcoin halving happen, you ask? Well, it's all part of Bitcoin's original design. To fully understand the concept of Bitcoin halving, we need to take a step back and look at the core principles behind Bitcoin's creation. At its inception, Bitcoin was designed to be a peer-to-peer -peer digital currency that would revolutionize the financial world. But there was another critical aspect of its design that is often overlooked. It's built-in inflation control measures. You see, Bitcoin's creator, the elusive Satoshi Nakamoto, was wary of the pitfalls of traditional currencies, notably their susceptibility to inflation. To counter this, Nakamoto implemented a system that would control the supply of Bitcoins in circulation. This system is what we now know as Bitcoin halving. So, how does this work? Well, every four years, the reward for mining a new block on the Bitcoin blockchain is halved. This halving process reduces the rate at which new Bitcoins are created and therefore the supply of new coins. It's a bit like a digital gold rush where the amount of gold found decreases over time, making the remaining gold more valuable. By introducing this halving mechanism, Nakamoto ensured that Bitcoin would not suffer from the same inflationary pressures that traditional currencies do. It's an elegant solution that controls supply and by extension demand. But there's another layer to this. The halving also serves to prolong the life of the Bitcoin mining process. If the mining rewards didn't have every four years, all Bitcoins would have been mined by now. But thanks to this process, it's estimated that the last Bitcoin won't be mined until the year 2140. So to sum it up, Bitcoin halving is a fundamental part of the cryptocurrency's design. It's a method of preserving the value of Bitcoin by controlling inflation and extending the lifespan of the mining process. With the reason behind Bitcoin halving clear, we can now explore what impact it might have on the market. The question on everyone's mind is, what happens when Bitcoin halves? The answer isn't as straightforward as you might think. Let's dive into the potential impact of Bitcoin halving on the crypto market. The first thing to consider is supply and demand. As the number of new Bitcoins entering the market decreases, the supply tightens. If demand remains constant or increases, this could potentially lead to an increase in Bitcoin's price. This is a basic economic principle and the reason why many are excited about the halving event. However, it's important to remember that the crypto market is not a vacuum. It's influenced by various factors, including market sentiment, global economic conditions and regulatory developments, to name a few. So even though the halving reduces the rate at which new Bitcoins are created, it doesn't necessarily guarantee a price surge. In addition, the crypto market is still relatively young and highly volatile. 
This means that short-term price movements can be unpredictable and may not necessarily reflect the underlying fundamentals. Furthermore, while the halving event is known well in advance, its impact is not entirely predictable. Some believe that the event may already be priced in, meaning that traders have already factored in the anticipated reduction in supply into the current price. If this is the case, we may not see a significant price movement immediately after the halving. Also worth noting is that miners who are rewarded with bitcoins for verifying transactions will see their rewards cut in half. This could potentially influence their behavior and in turn, the market dynamics. For instance, if mining becomes unprofitable for some, they might exit the market, leading to a decrease in the network's hash rate or computing power. This could have implications for the security and stability of the Bitcoin network. The impact of Bitcoin halving is a topic of much debate. But what about its historical performance? Has it always led to a price surge? Historically, Bitcoin halving has been a significant event. But has it always led to a price surge? Let's delve into the past to understand this better. Bitcoin has undergone three halvings since its inception in 2009. The first halving occurred in November 2012, the second in July 2016, and the third in May 2020. Each time, the Bitcoin block reward for miners was cut in half, hence the term halving. Now, let's look at the price action. Following the first halving in 2012, Bitcoin saw a meteoric rise from approximately $12 to over $100 within a year. That's a whopping increase of more than 800%. After the second halving in 2016, Bitcoin's price soared from around $600 to nearly $20,000 by the end of 2017. That's a staggering jump of over 3,300%. The third halving in 2020 wasn't left behind either. Bitcoin's price rocketed from around $8,500 at the time of the halving to a record high of nearly $65,000 in April 2021. That's an impressive rise of over 700%. But here's the kicker. These price surges didn't happen overnight. They took place over extended periods, anywhere from a few months to a year after the halving event. Hence, while halving has historically been followed by significant price increases, it's not an immediate trigger. However, it's crucial to remember that past performance does not guarantee future results. The cryptocurrency market is known for its volatility. Factors like regulatory changes, market sentiment and technological advancements can dramatically influence Bitcoin's price. While the historical performance shows a pattern, it's essential to remember that the crypto market is volatile and unpredictable. Remember, investing in cryptocurrencies should always be done with careful consideration and a balanced approach. Bitcoin halving is indeed an intriguing event in the crypto world. So what should you take away from this? Well, let's revisit the key points we've covered. First off, Bitcoin halving is a pre-programmed event that occurs approximately every four years, or more precisely, after every 210,000 blocks are mined. This is the ingenious design of Bitcoin's creator, Satoshi Nakamoto, a mechanism to control inflation and mimic the scarcity of gold. The reason behind Bitcoin halving is simple. It's designed to cut the reward that miners receive for validating transactions in half, effectively controlling the rate at which new Bitcoins enter the market. This halving process continues until the maximum supply of 21 million Bitcoins is reached an event projected to happen around the year 2140. The impact of Bitcoin halving on the market, however, is a topic of debate. Some believe it leads to a surge in Bitcoin's price due to the reduced supply, while others argue that the event is already priced in by the market, leading to little noticeable impact. Historically, Bitcoin's price has shown a pattern of increase following each halving event. After the first halving in 2012, there was a significant bull run. The same happened after the second halving in 2016. But remember, past performance is not indicative of future results. So, as we look forward to the upcoming Bitcoin halving, it's essential to keep in mind that the crypto market is unpredictable. It's driven by a multitude of factors, not just halving events. Therefore, it's crucial to do your research Stay informed about market trends and make investment decisions based on a thorough understanding of the risks involved. As we look forward to the upcoming Bitcoin halving, 
Remember that the crypto market is unpredictable and always do your research before making any investment decisions.